Hi, I'm Corey Adolphus, and today I'm going to talk to you about NetApp AltaVault and how you can use it to modernise your backup infrastructure within your environment. What does a typical environment look like in data centres with applications and how backup generally works these days? You've got your apps sitting on your servers. They store their data on disk, either inside the server or out on a SAN. And you need to back those apps up. So then you have some backup software running on a server. And that could be Commvault, could be Symantec, could be NetApp Snap Protect, could be Veeam. Any number of software, or you could even be uh, performing backups directly from some of the applications, like if you were a DBA with Oracle, you might like to use RMAN and control your backups directly that way. Or SQL DBA, sometimes you like to do uh, dumps out to a file share or another disk. But if you've got these the backup software, then typically they, the backup software will have its own disk cache. It uses that to stream the data in and, and stores sort of like a, a cache of the, the most recent backups. And then, quite commonly, of course, is tape infrastructure. So you've got your tape library with some tape drives. And inside the tape drives, of course, is tape cartridges. And then you back up to that over and over again. Of course, you need to get those tapes off site, otherwise, uh, you know, they're, they're not uh, resilient to site failures and site disasters. So then, of course, a truck comes along, picks up the tapes, and it drives away. And you may never see that again, and you don't know whether your data would even be recoverable. We all know this pain. So, what does NetApp AltaVault do, and how does it modernize a tape backup infrastructure? NetApp AltaVault is an appliance available as hardware or as a virtual appliance to run on a virtualization software like VMware or Hyper-V. So it goes into your environment and your existing processes around backup. So whatever backup software you're using or whatever methods you're using to backup the data currently continues unchanged. Instead though, instead of backing up to tape, the backup software will actually point those backups to AltaVault on the network. And the AltaVault will do inline dedupe, inline compression, and inline encryption. And then will send that data to a cloud provider of your choice. The most common ones, of course, are AWS or Azure, or it could even go to a private cloud object store such as Open, OpenStack Swift or NetApp Storage Grid. During the ingest of the data from the backup application to the AltaVault appliance, as I said, we do inline dedupe and compression and encryption. And we've had customers get anywhere from 10 to 30 times reduction in the amount of data that's coming in versus what actually has to be sent out to one of these cloud providers. And at the same time, we also store a local cache of the backups such that restores are really fast and most commonly come from the local disk-based cache on-premise and rarely has to go back to the cloud to pull that data back during a restore. Other use cases are for things like archiving, where you have an application such as email, and you might have a business requirement that says, I need, to make, I need to keep a copy of all of my emails ever sent and received by anyone at any time. That kind of data is just, maybe it's just necessary, uh, but it's uh, not something that is typically read very often, if ever. So that's a great use case for archiving, and you might have some software such as Symantec Enterprise Vault, which might e archive your emails and it can send the data to the AltaVault run running in archive mode. Again, we will do that inline dedupe, inline compression, inline encryption, and then send the data to those cloud providers, whichever one you, you choose. 
when we're doing archiving, because you rarely have to read this data, we don't store a cache of the data itself, just the metadata. So we can store multi petabytes worth of archive data in these clouds from one of these AltaVault appliances by only storing the metadata locally. It still allows for rapid restore if need be, but it's something that you don't have to do as often as say during a backup process. This can also apply to file system archiving as well. So there you go, that's NetApp AltaVault and how it can dramatically modernise your backup and archival ecosystem within your data centre. Thank you.